not expecting that. Hey guys, welcome to another review. We're going to be talking about lamb today. Um, I am once again joined by my uh, my pals Tyler and Jacob. Ah. We got, uh, we, again, we're going to be talking about lamb right now. And we got one more review uh, after this to talk about, which is teeth. And that will be coming, I believe, tomorrow. So lamb is the newest piece from A24, which is, again, being advertised as a horror film like A24 <laughs> loves to do. So this movie, <sighs> plot, plot without spoilers. All right, bear with me. So <laughs> Lem is about a couple played by uh, Numi, what's her name? Numi Rapace. Numi Rapace and what's the other guy? I have <laughs> <laughs> I, Icelandic actor number one. Okay. This is a movie that takes place uh, in Iceland on a farm, I guess you could say. It takes place uh, with a with a couple that we don't really know too much about. They're isolated on a farm in Iceland, and they uh, they have this barn full of sheep. And then <laughs> next thing we know, a sheep is born with a human body. I, I, I want to know what my body would look like but with a sheep head. I'm curious now. <laughs> and that's, that's really the plot there. There's not too much dialogue. There's not too much build-up or, you know, character development into this plot or really what this movie is. And it's just, that's what the plot is. It's more or less sort of a mystery story. I mean, with a plot like that, it's, it's not exactly, you know, your, your, your everyday story, A24. And... Basically, what ends up happening is that this is a story that is told through, again, um, a very A24-esque fashion, a very dramatic way, <laughs> tackling themes such as grief and, you know, I, I wouldn't necessarily say trauma, but, you know, uh, a de depression and just, you know, b detachment in a sense. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and talk about this movie as much as I can without spoilers, so I'm going to... You know, let let these guys get get their get their takes on the film. Or who? Alrighty. What the fuck does that mean? Yeah, what does that mean? <laughs> Before I get going. Is this here. is that is that Icelandic for you first? No, <laughs> it's French for you first. Oh. I was close. First things first. I was I was taken quite aback by the movie because uh, what was pitched as a horror movie actually turns out to be a domestic drama of sorts. Um, uh, this is a couple who, just by looking at them for the first time, you can tell that they're dealing with grief and, right. and lots of emotions. <laughs> it, definitely, it, it definitely sets up yeah, for a lot of emotional quiet, value. Yeah, the quiet in this movie is way more louder than anything. Um, right. With that said, there are a lot of scenes in this movie where you're just watching people work. <laughs> or, you know, watching a football yeah. game. Or walking through a field for, like, five minutes. And I can see a lot of people being turned off by that. Because... You yawn in every video. Because... Yeah, you do. Classic Jacob. <laughs> what is being pitched as a horror movie, I believe I, I should urge people, it is a domestic drama it has a weird premise yes yes I'm going to go into this probably thinking oh yeah this is going to be a fun great time nah you're being literally immersed in this really sad couple's existence and then you know yes stuff happens. yes this and it sounds in a sense like a character story but it's really not it's just we see this couple that we don't get too much it's introduction. Like a slice of life. Yeah, we don't get too much introduction to this couple. We don't get you know a whole background about them. There are things that are lined up like like trail like a trail of crumbs that is lined up throughout the movie that are giving us you know slight hints and nods to what is going on with with these uh with these characters and where exactly their story comes from and where this movie is going to unfold at. But in saying that again, there's there's very very little dialogue and whenever there is dialogue it's n it doesn't really ever seem like anything meaningful it just it's just a part of what of these characters everyday life 
these yeah. characters really feel like just regular people. They're not, they're, you know, not exactly memorable characters per se. They don't have, you know, a big story lined up. This isn't a massive, you know, screenplay of, of a story, I, I'm imagining. But what, what this film does, and, and the reason why it's it's being specified as a horror element or, or uh, a horror film is because what me and Tyler were talking about is that it does have horror elements. I would say... Like this is almost like not not necessarily small chunks. <laughs> yeah, not necessarily yeah. a body horror film or even a creature horror film. It's just it is a it's a horror it, film on a very strange film that no other studio or genre would ever be able to market. This is yeah. your typical A twenty four weird fucking film. And like honestly, as as, as as like kind of like meat and potatoes as that sounds, that that's really what this film is. There's not a whole like a lot of I I wouldn't say meaning to it or depth. It does have emotional value. It does have a story. It does have you know something that offers, but it's not something that really sticks so much or is really all that necessary of a story. Again, again, this is just this is a very strange film that you just kind of go into, and what it is, you accept what it is, and you go from there. First of all, I kind of liked it a little bit. Like, I got past the language barrier. It was kind of a cute <laughs> yeah, movie. It's it's but, not a bad film. I'll say that. But right my that. here's my problems with it. Um, it felt like Kramer versus Kramer in a way, you know. If you ever seen that movie, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not gonna spoil nothing. It's like a revenge body creature Kramer sci-fi drama. <laughs> it's a very strange film. Again, this is your very, you know, standard A twenty four, you know, trippy film. And and here's my other problem with it. I knew there was CGI in it. I could tell that they were using CGI. <laughs> yes, when there, yeah. when there you are. You can tell they're using CGI. You know there's something wrong. You yeah. gotta fool the audience into thinking, "Oh my god, that could be real." <laughs> that that reminded me to talk about. Yes, there Too are much CGI. CGI. There are things. aspects to this film, like you know, the grand scheme of the film, that like what the actual centerpiece of this movie is. It is very distracting it is very distracting it's a very distracting film it's a very weird film and hard film to get into it's you know not just a slow burn but the way that the film moves where it goes where it like the routes that this film chooses it's very left field but again in saying that there is a strange like charm to this film these characters you know they are not bland they do seem like, you know, people that you can interact with and people that you can kind of, you know, really right off the bat just, you know, see where their story is going. Yeah. It, but, again, with with the film, with, with what it tackles and how it reveals itself is really just something that you just, you know, not, not necessarily got to prep for or be, you know, like have the taste for, but you have to understand, like, what this movie is it trying is. to get at, what it is, yes. And... I'm sorry, but it didn't have to be a horror movie. There didn't even even have to be violence per se. <laughs> it's weird and it's the twisted and yeah, it's kind violence, of fucked. Yeah, unnecessary. The yeah, the violence doesn't really work for me. Yeah, it kind of took me out of the movie a lot. You know, when yeah. I'm trying to get immersed into the drama of the situation, and I the kinda... violence is very out there the violence is very jarring and it's yeah. A, and yeah let yeah. me just say this like so obviously if you're an a24 fan fan you know how their horror works out lighthouse it's weird it's strange it's unnerving but it's not scary uh same with killing of a sacred deer same with saint Maud. they have this you know they they, they have this habit of including some of the strangest things that you could put in a film and automatically saying, well, what, 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 what do we call this? And again, this is a, I see this more as a like psychological like drama than anything. It's very, it has things, it's a very mental based movie. It's a very atmospheric film. And again, just for not only for, for, you know, it, like if you're going to get a scare, it's not 
it's not scary. I almost want to say that this is like, in a sense, kind of like close to like some of like how Marriage Story feels, how Marriage Story feels, and how like Tusk kind of feels. It, it's it's you really don't know what like category to put it in. It's a strange film. It's just it, it's something that you're not really ever going to expect to see or really ever want to see. But in a sense, like, it does have value to it. And that's really, like, the big picture of it. Is that it's not just this weird film that's just made for the sake of being weird. It has something to say. I just don't know if that was actually necessary. For as weird as the movie actually sounds and is, it does, weirdly enough, you know, thankfully have something to actually offer. In a weird it's sense... It's a real conversation in, starter, in, that's in, for in sure. In a weird sense, I did kind of get, like... It's Tusk meets, mar meets, like, marriage story meets a ghost story. It's a very batshit... It's it's your A24 film, man. It's... <laughs> I'm gonna give Lamb a 5.9 out of 10. It's I've a been, weird movie to rate. I, I've been back and forth on this, but, you know, the more that I talk about it, the more that I think about it, the more that I realize it did have an impact on me. Again, it's not for everybody. You're going into this thing thinking you're getting a horror movie. No, this is as different from an A24 film as possible. I think this is probably their most grounded film in a long time. A long time. Like, like they've been in horror mode for years now, but it, like this is like back when A24 first got established. They, they've they they've taken on a film. This does kind that, of feel like the roots of A24. Yeah, it, they've taken on a film that asks hard questions it doesn't exactly answer them by the end of it, but I was still pretty invested. And I will say, you know, it it is a rewarding experience by the end if you are invested in this couple's journey. So if I were to give this a score, I would give it an 8 out of 10. Oh, wow. I think this movie really... Again, when I walked out of the movie, I, I had very different thoughts on it. I was like, I don't understand. It was very slow. But then talking about it and thinking it over, I realized that this film does things that we don't usually see films do anymore. And I think that needs to be championed. It is, it is like... You know, decently original film in and, sense. And by the way, PSA, this is not a horror film. At the end of the day, don't go into this thinking it's a horror film. If you do, you are going to have a bad time. <laughs> a very, very it's, bad it, time. It'll be a ride. You will be bored stiff by this because, yeah, there are no scares in this movie. This is literally like, again, there are long stretches where you're watching people work. Or yeah. watch a football it, game. It is a dramatic study. Yeah, you know, and, you know, plot developments later on, you know, like, yeah, you are just watching these people live with this weird occurrence that has happened. And, yeah, and if you go, if you go in with the right thought process, like, I'm going to get a more down-to-earth emotional experience than a horror movie... I, I think you'll love this movie. So, 8 out of 10. It left me asking a lot of questions. Oh, yeah. I, <laughs> Guaranteed. It's confused, uh, you know, it confused me a lot. Like, And the CGI, I could get past the fact <laughs> that it's not a horror I love film, how that's your biggest flaw. But the CGI just... I'm sorry, if you're going to make a movie, you got to... If you want it to mm -hmm. be good, you got to... <laughs> I, I don't know. You gotta try a little harder. With Again, I, I really think that they, you know, hit pretty left field with this one. But in in, in it, the movies, for the movie's sake, I do give it props for the things that that it that it. I, you yeah, know, I'm gonna be it, honest. It did. I give it a four point five out of ten. Wow, it it's confused really low, me. Man. The CGI, plus, I don't know it. I know you were speaking another it language. Just, it just, I just, it just didn't have as big of an impact on on me as I wish it did, or as I felt like it was trying to have. But, but I, you know, I, I know. You know what, though, this is a great conversation starter because I personally don't think people are really going to pay attention to those CGI effects. I think they're going to be very 
invested in this story that yeah sure the effects can be distracting at certain points at like certain angles yes you can clearly tell but i think people are at first going to be surprised and then i think they're just going to lean into it man i think they're just going to be like just, okay, yeah this it's, is it, just, it kind of reels you in in a yeah, sense yeah yeah this is kind of yeah you know it basically the gimmick is there to get you into the theater you know again it's not for everybody and I'm not going to sit here and try to convince whoever has seen this movie and didn't like it to like it. No, no, that's not that's not my problem. You know, it, it, uh, the only thing I can say is I thought it was really interesting. And I feel like for movies that are made today, we don't see enough of this, which is pure invention, pure like this is just this yeah. is just imagination this yeah. is purely it, yeah and and pure emotions yeah it's like, just it's just like it it's a very morbid film in its sense too this, it's just it's yeah yeah like, this is not your it's an imaginative you know film yeah like this is not your bargain bin hollywood production no this is a movie where they went to great lengths to yeah. figure out what exactly they were trying to do Again, do I feel like the gimmick was necessary? No, of course not. And yeah, the effects are distracting at points. But I was so invested in this couple's story, in their grief, that it took me all the way to the end. I will say the ending is rushed. The ending is terrible, but, but if you can get past that, by all means, watch this movie. I think I think you will have a good conversation afterwards. And, you know, even if you don't want to have a conversation, I think you'll be thinking about this movie for a long time. Honestly. It is not for everybody. By all means, it is not for everybody. It's not the best film, but, it, it, but as ridiculous as the movie sounds, they really did, I think, do what they could with it. So, you know, Lamb is in theaters right now. Support Lamb. Go support it. Yeah. Pay to see even if you I don't mean, want yeah. to, even if you don't want to see Lamb, pay for a ticket to Lamb, go and see another. At least we can That's all ride. We it's, can all agree on that. That's a fun <laughs> ride. Pay 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 for a ticket to see Lamb, go see something else if you're not interested in it. Doesn't I matter. encourage Give you them to your see money, it. man. It, see it in titters. Keep your yeah. titter in business, please. Yeah, or, or at least pay for the ticket in theaters. Like, yeah, yeah. That movie needs as much help as it can get right now. <laughs> So with that being said, that is going to conclude it for our reviews of Lamb. Uh, we will be getting into Teeth, which is Ooh, another teeth. indie underappreciated that's fucking wacky bat shit horror film. That is going. To that be I can't wait to talk yeah, about. That's going to be fun. One. So we will <laughs> see you guys nonetheless in the next video. Let us know what, what you guys saw uh, thought of Lamb for those who did see it. And again, check out Lamb if you can. Take care, guys, and have a good night. We'll see you in the next video.